Okay, so what are we looking at here? Well, these are the type of problems that you uh, do in elementary or uh, primary school. So we have like some division problems. Maybe you're adding up some uh, numbers here with some uh, positive and negative numbers. You may not see this until middle school, maybe uh, elementary school at the end of uh, elementary school. Uh, then we have fractions as well. So a lot of you would probably identify this level of mathematics as basic math. And uh, with that word basic, that that word is both it's both good and bad because uh, it kind of implies that basic, you know, like basic math is like easy math. It's so simple, you know, that we could just learn it. You know, it's just really basic, right? That's what it kind of implies. But in fact, basic math is not so basic. You really cover a lot of material in elementary school and primary school and even up to the beginning of middle school that you really need to appreciate the importance of basic math. So I'm going to kind of just highlight uh, some of these um, main ideas that we cover in basic mathematics. And really, this video is addressed to those of you out there that um, maybe have math phobia, math anxiety, or maybe have this sense that, uh, you know, you can't learn math or like, oh boy, I don't even know basic math. So I don't, there's no way I could pass my college math course. Listen, you can definitely achieve your math goals, but you have to do it in an in intelligent way fashion in the first place you want to start is with basic math and we're going to talk about why uh, talk about why it's so important that you take the time to build your ma uh, basic math skills up so I'm going to get into all of that in just one second but first let me quickly introduce myself my name is John I'm the founder of tablet class math I'm also a middle and high school math teacher I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video but I've been teaching math for decades and really I like to think of myself as more of uh, someone who explains math versus teaching math. So teaching sounds like, you know, you're reading from a textbook. I like to try to teach or explain things in a clear and understandable way so anyone and everyone can understand this stuff. And you can, as long as you're willing to put in the work to uh, learn, I think I have the right instruction to help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, definitely check out my math help program if you're struggling in mathematics. Now, if you happen to be prepared for any sort of test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, maybe even a teacher certification exam. I could help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you absolutely must check out my homeschool math courses. I just recently voted number one for middle school and high school mathematics by a major homeschool publication. Very excited about that. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so I got a question for you out there while watching this video. How did you do in uh, elementary math? Or maybe uh, think back all your, all your education, okay? Uh, elementary school, primary school, middle school, and even high school, okay? But I'm really kind of more interested in elementary school. How did you do, okay, in, uh, in math? Did you do good? Did you do, uh, do you felt like you learned something, you know? And what made the difference, uh, whether that be positive or negative? If you didn't do good, why? Didn't you, uh, you know, like math or learn math well? All right. Now, oftentimes, uh, I'll get responses to this because I get a ton of um, people reaching out for me for math help, and they tell me their math stories, or kind of their history, and I'm interested in knowing that because it really oftentimes comes down to some teacher that they didn't like or some teacher that made them feel bad, um, you know, and that just uh, kind of made this belief. Or, or instill this belief into a person's brain. This is the worst thing that can happen, by the way, to a math student. That oh boy, um, you know, it's very subtle how this can happen as well. As, uh, as well, and can it can come from a teacher? It can even come from a parent or other people. If someone starts telling you, "Hey, you're not good in math," or "You're bad at math." guess what? You're going to start telling yourself that. And then that becomes like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's one of the worst things that can happen to anyone. So I'm telling you right now, you got to shut all that down. And unfortunately, some of you, um, if you ever had a teacher that even implied that, even in a subtle way, then that's a real shame, okay? Because uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you, as long as you have the um, desire to learn math, you can learn math, okay? But it's really about your attitude and your self-perceptions of things. So yeah, anyways, and to kind of go back to this idea of basic math, a lot of students are like, or a lot of people, especially adults, are like, I don't even know basic math. I'm terrible at math. Well, you got to, first of all, appreciate that basic math is not so basic. There's a lot to cover. So I'm going to get into this now and uh, take the time to review 
uh, basic mathematics, okay? And now we're talking about all the stuff you learn in elementary school, primary school, and even kind of up into middle school. Yeah, that's a lot of years of education. And let's kind of talk about some of those uh, things that we learn. Okay, so down here, we got like a nice little um, pyramid of such. So when you start learning mathematics, you kind of start developing a number sense, you know, you, you know how to count, you know, what numbers mean, um, you know, kind of the application of numbers. Now, I didn't teach elementary mathematics, although I've worked with a lot of elementary uh, math teachers. And by the way, you need to really have a lot of... Uh, um, you know, good feelings towards any teacher <laughs> that you've encountered in your life that's taught you something. And I, you know, I can remember some of my teachers, especially in elementary school, but a lot of them I can't remember. It's been many, many, many years ago. But it wasn't for those particular teachers, I would not have developed these skills. So we have to appreciate those teachers out there. But, uh, you know, when you first start learning mathematics, you start developing a number sense. Okay, what are numbers, how to count, all those type of different things. And then you start getting into... Uh, number operations. So what are operations that you, um, what we're talking about? Well, a mathematical operation is like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And just think about learning your times tables and doing all those addition problems and subtraction problems all by hand and whatnot. And even in today's age, uh, you know, the worst thing that could, uh, a student can have at an elementary primary level is a calculator. You should put that calculator away. You could just start messing around with calculators in middle school, okay? But definitely at the elementary school, I just don't think there's any kind of value in them. And way back in the good old days, like when I went to school in the 70s, you, you didn't have a calculator anyway, so we didn't have to worry about it. But, um, you know, mathematical operations, we're talking about arithmetic, okay? Numbers and just knowing these, mastering these four operations here is a lot, okay? So now, once you kind of get beyond that, you start really kind of getting up your bearings or uh, some skill sets behind adding and subtracting, multiplication, division. Then you have to get a sense of place value, like the tenths, the thousands place and everything else. And you start building your knowledge base up of about decimals because you have to understand about decimals. And this, by the way, is no particular order. It's just kind of the way um, things are. I'm kind of I'm missing a I'm not putting everything in my little, you know, uh, pyramid here because there's other things even about geometry that we could talk about and, and shapes and figures. So I'm just kind of uh, focusing more on arithmetic right here. But then you have to really get it to place values, understand about decimals and units of measure. Then you start learning about fractions okay, and decimals. And then you're back to learning uh, to deal with, um, to use um, fractions and decimals in various operations, how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide with fractions and decimals, and maybe a combination of both of these. Now, this here continues on into kind of middle school. So, you know, when you're from like, you know, kindergarten up to uh, fifth grade, okay, you're at that primary uh, level of education. Then, you know, sixth, seventh, and eighth, this is kind of middle school. And typically, at the eighth grade, you should be at the pre-algebra level. In seventh grade, you're kind of doing a little bit of algebra and stuff. So what I'm talking about here is really kind of maybe up to the sixth grade. Maybe it all depends. Maybe up to the seventh grades. But a lot of you would think this would be, if it's not algebra, you would say, oh, that's just basic math. Well, again, it's not so basic. There's a lot of stuff you learn here, and it's critical, okay, that you've mastered this. Uh, because if you haven't mastered this stuff, you're going to have a tough time in um, algebra. Okay, so let's continue on here. So again, we're talking about fractions and decimals. So many um, uh, students in uh, algebra can't even um, work with fractions. They forgot, okay? Maybe at one time they could. But, you know, of course, if we don't use um, these skills, you're going to forget them, and then we just go ahead and break out our calculator. So we definitely, you know, are rusting all this stuff. And then um, also in uh, primary school, elementary school, you start learning about something called the order of operations. You might remember this little acronym called PEMDAS. Uh, uh, it stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. It's how we deal with um, uh, simplifying uh, in numeric expressions, something like this, uh, 3 times 10 divided by 5 times 2, maybe that divided by 8 minus uh, 4, something like that. So here we have all sorts of different operations. We have division, multiplication, multiplication, we have parentheses, we have subtraction. What, how do we do this? What 
uh, oper operators do we do first? Do we do subtraction first, then a multiplication? Well, you're going to get different um, answers uh, if you, depending on what order you take. So there is a very specific order to do this, uh, to do these operations. That's called the order of operations, and you use this little acronym here or mnemonic. Um, oftentimes, people you know it as "Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally." So this is a big, big deal. Or the order of operations, and then even in uh, elementary school, you start uh, learning about percent, and um, you know, which is related to fractions and decimals and, and the like. So, this is like kind of highlighting some big concepts. Not everything that you study at the uh, kind of elementary level. All right, this is a lot of skills. Okay, this is critically important uh, to be successful in algebra and geometry. Okay, so if you are kind of relearning mathematics and you look at this, you're like, oh, this is just basic math. I should just know this stuff. No, you know, no one's just going to know this. All right. If you're, you know, remember what your full time job was when you were young. <laughs> your full time job description was student. Okay. Uh, if you're an adult trying to relearn this, you, you know, you have a job, you have other responsibilities. So take the time. Okay. And give basic math its due respect. There is a lot here that you want to go back and learn, right? And it's so easy to dismiss this stuff because, like, oh, I got a calculator. I don't need to do any of this stuff. No, you need to put your calculator away and get reacquainted with these concepts. Matter of fact, I have an excellent uh, little mini course at my in my um, on my website. It's called my Math Foundations course. Okay, it's a little mini course which covers some a lot of these uh, basic things. So if you want a quick refresher on basic mathematics, I think that would be um, a good little course for you. But before you get into algebra, if you have to take algebra, if you're going back to school after many many years, do yourself a favor and start with basic math okay so let's kind of go up here and wrap it up you know don't be like well basic math that's just too basic all right that's like uh, not a good place for me to start because it's you know i should just know this or remember this stuff that's not going to be the case take a couple months or a month or a few weeks whatever the case is everyone's going to be different and review basic math skills before you uh, continue on uh, with more advanced mathematics like algebra okay so hopefully this video um, it's helped uh, some of you maybe change your attitudes about learning math. I'm here to tell you right now, the worst thing that can happen to a person is that they kind of um, self, um, you know, they kind of defeat themselves be uh, because someone told them they can't learn math. And the worst person, or I would say the worst person, that's not what I want to say, but the number one thing or, uh, that we can't do is have this negative self-talk. If you're saying to yourself, I can't, I can't, I can't, you have to find a way to stop that. Okay? And the only way to change your mental um, kind of uh, belief in terms of what you're capable of doing is by starting with easy math and work your way up. Okay, So this is not that easy, but start at a level that you're comfortable with and start building up. Uh, your skill sets one at a time. Okay, I'm here to tell you, you can learn math. You can go as far as you want. You know, certainly up to calculus. Is it going to take uh, many years and a lot of hard work? Of course. Okay, I didn't say it was going to be easy. I'm just saying you're capable of doing it. So it's all about, you know, how much you want to put into it. But if you have the right instruction, I think that you can um, go as far as you want to go. But it's going to take time. So, uh, anyways, hopefully this video kind of help put things in perspective for you. And if that is the case, go ahead and consider uh, smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my content. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.